gonna ask you a few questions about the program. Obviously, we were working together for the last four months, right? It's been four months. Yep. Yep. Um, August. August 10th. What'd you say? August 10th. August 10th, when school started. Awesome. Uh, okay. So first question, what caused you to look into working with us? And what was something that you were struggling with when coming on board? Okay, so I was referred by a friend. Okay. And um, I, just in conversation, we were actually at a pizza place and I told her that my thyroid doctor said I had to lose, um, or I could, you know, it wouldn't hurt me to lose between 10 and 20 pounds. So that got me thinking, it got me a little bit mad, hurt my feelings a little bit. So then um, I was talking to another Lisa and um, she had found you on Facebook and she just kind of delve into it, dove into it a little bit. And um, she said, you should check her out. So that's, so basically I was referred. So at that point in time, I was strictly doing it from a, a medical standpoint because mm -hmm. I didn't consider myself obese mm -hmm. by any stretch of the terms. Um, but I, I knew I needed to make some changes uh, for myself and for my family. Yeah. Uh, and what was something that you were struggling with in regards to um, losing weight? I guess um, I, I'm a, I was a very big snacker and I didn't have a lot of movement and I didn't know really how to implement it. I had tried um, Noom for a little while and I just got bored with it. So I guess I just, I just needed um, some structure and I needed somebody to hold me accountable. Cool. So that's awesome. what I was looking for. Awesome. Cool. Um, and by the time we finished, so from when we started till now, what was something that you accomplished that you wanted to accomplish and what do you feel the most confident in? Okay. Well, I accomplished the doctor's goal. Yeah. So I'm right in between there. I, you know, compromised it right at about 15 pounds. So that gives me a little bit of leeway one way or another to, to gain or, or lose a few more. Mm -hmm. um, something I accomplished was, was just losing the weight and learning the process and um, proper nutrition was was a big thing that was was missing um I, i'm a fast food drive through person so i learned how to scale that back or how to work it in and yeah. then learning that um veggies are my friend <laughs> yes so, and, and i got physically stronger too like i feel um that i'm giving my family the best version of myself now yeah. i'm not as tired um i was able to cut my anxiety medicine in half so yeah. that's that's a big deal. Um, wow. That's not doctor approved yet. But whenever I go back, um, I've been kind of self monitoring that at this point. Awesome. But just mentally stronger as well. Wow, that's amazing. I'm. I didn't actually even know that till just now. So that's awesome. Well, I had to. I had to save something for yeah. you. <laughs> Well, thank you. That's exciting. Uh, so you lost weight. I mean, I'm going to brag about you for a little bit. You have abs popping in, which is awesome. You look like strong, confident. I love it. Um, and I wanted to touch on in regards to nutrition because you said that you were doing Noom. So I just want you to kind of give a little backstory on how you did your nutrition working with me because I know the one thing you said to me was, Danae, I don't want to track any calories and I don't want to track any of my macros. Teach me how to lose weight without it. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I didn't even know what macros were. So, and and I just didn't want to take the time to do it. So through you, just by, um, you make yourself accountable because you have to take pictures of everything that you eat. And at first that seems very tedious, but I can, looking back, I can see why that's helpful mm -hmm. um, because you you need self-accountability, but you also need it for your, your coach. Mm -hmm. And again, I didn't know the proper breakdown of nutrition, so uh, your chart makes it easy to go through. Um, and I'm kind of losing my train of thought. So what was the other part of that question? No, it was just, you know, whether or not you were able to do it without tracking calories and counting macros, because I know you didn't want to oh, do that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Once you once you learn um, the chart that, that y'all provide, uh, it just kind of becomes, again, it goes back to structure and routine. Yeah. So just incorporating that into your everyday life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I do know another thing that you mentioned uh, as the holidays were approaching was, oh my God, what am I going to do? The holidays were coming and you were able to still, in 
you know, did you or did you not enjoy some of the foods that you love regularly during the holidays and even throughout the program? So did you have some balance? Did you find some balance in eating foods that you love along with obviously doing, you know, things that you needed to do? Absolutely. Uh, that's another thing, another plug for your program is once you learn how to picture your plate, you don't feel bad or guilty for, for eating what you do love. Again, structure, balance. Yep. Um, as, as the holidays came in, I knew, okay, so on Thanksgiving Day, I actually got up and worked out for a little while. It wasn't a full workout, but just enough to get my body moving. Yep. And I took something healthy with me. So I did take a spoonful or more of everything that I wanted, but I didn't feel bad about it because I knew one day is not going to undo 60 days or Correct. 90 days. Yeah, absolutely. So that's kind of how I went into it. Yeah. Um, we, I mean, your results show for that. So that's awesome. Cause you would even send me some of your treats here and they're like, Oh, look at my ice cream cone and look at this. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I love it. Um, uh, yeah, well, the other day, don't do it all in one day. Don't, just don't, don't do it all in one day. Cause you might not feel good. You will pay for it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, uh, awesome. I appreciate you for sharing that. And then my last question is just for anyone who is on the fence for joining my program, what would you tell that person? As Nike would say, just do it. <laughs> yes. um, I'm not a huge advocate of, of Nike, but I do like their, their slogan. Uh, you have to determine what is right for you. You have to be in the, in the right mindset. So if you're iffy, um, maybe look back on some of these testimonials and look at the pictures because the results um, will speak for themselves. And normally there's a disclaimer on weight loss commercials that say results aren't typical. But what I've seen from the few people that I know that have done this program, the results are typical. Mm -hmm. But you have to commit to it and you have to be willing to do the sacrifices at the beginning. So then, you know, you have the, the lifelong result because yeah. these results can be sustainable.